Hi, I'm nurse practitioner Chow, and I'll be your nurse today. First off, um, can I get your first and last name and your date of birth? It's Sarah Smith, and my date of birth is 92986. Perfect. What brings you in today, Sarah? Well, I've not been feeling very good at all. I have a lot of cough with phlegm, fever, chills, and I can't really breathe that great. When I do try to take a deep breath, I get sharp pains in my chest. I'm really tired all the time, and I don't want to eat. And when I do take deep breaths, it almost sounds like there's wheezing going on. I see. Huh, let me take some vital signs first and listen to your lungs. Okay, your lungs sound pretty congested and I do hear some bilateral lower lobe bronchi. It's possible you may have pneumonia, but I'd like to run some tests first. We're going to do some blood work today and do a sputum culture. But since you're having some symptoms already, I do like I would like you to start a broad spectrum Leviquin. Hmm, Leviquin. Can you tell me more about that? Sure. Levofloxacin is used to treat bacterial infections of the skin, sinuses, kidneys, bladder, or prostate. Levofloxacin is also used to treat bacterial infections that cause bronchitis or pneumonia, and to treat people who have been exposed to anthrax. Levoquin is an antibiotic that is used to treat a variety of bacterial infections. It belongs to the fluoroquinolone class of antibiotics. And Levoquin is also used to treat infections of the bones and the joints. Levoquin can begin to work in as little as 24 hours depending on the severity of the bacterial infection. In typical bacterial infections, the medication can be working in 48 hours, whereas stronger infections can take anywhere up to 10 days before Levoquin begins to work. Now let's talk about how to take Levoquin. Take on an empty stomach or one hour before or two hours after you eat. Antacids, iron, or zinc supplements should be taken two hours before or after. Make sure you take with plenty of fluids and finish the prescription even after signs and symptoms go away. Store this medication at room temperature and away from light. Wear sunscreen as your skin is more sensitive while on this medication. severe. Other 
adverse reactions that can occur are completely unpredictable and have absolutely nothing to do with the dosage of Levaquin you're taking. This usually happens less often, less often, and is not expected by your doctor. In these instances, you should immediately contact your physician. Some of the adverse effects include, but are not limited to, allergic reactions such as itching, hives, swelling of the face or hands, swelling or tingling of the mouth or throat, chest tightness, chest pain, blistering or peeling of skin, a red skin rash, change in the color or how much, how often you urinate, bloody stools, loss of appetite or stomach pain, numbness, tingling, or burning in the extremities, or joint pain, seizures, headache, anxiety, depression, or hallucinations. Unusual bleeding, bruising, or weaknesses can also occur. All right, now let's talk about food and drugs to avoid. Ask your doctor or pharmacist before using any other medicine, including over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal products. Some foods and medicines can affect how Levaquin works. Avoid dairy products or calcium-fortified foods, theophylline, blood thinners, diabetes medicine, medicine for heart rhythm problems, NSAIDs, and steroid medicines. Ways to prevent future infection. Wash your hands with soap and water frequently. Prepare and store foods appropriately. Make sure to clean your cell phone, keyboard, remotes, and other household items with antibacterial regularly. And remember, do not drive or do anything that could be dangerous until you know how this medicine affects you. Keep all medicine out of reach of children and never share your medicine with anyone. Hi Sarah, good to see you again. How have you been feeling so far? Any improvements? Yes, I feel much better. Almost all of my symptoms have gone away. Good, good. I did get the lab results back, and it does show that you had an active infection. But the good news is that the sputum culture showed a bacteria that is sensitive to the antibiotic. So you can continue with the current antibiotic therapy and finish the bottle. Any questions for me? No, Doc. I think I'm okay. Great. Call me anytime if you have any questions. I would like to say... I really appreciate you giving me a hand in this situation.